Okay, so I just saw this on Reddit uh, from five hours ago. Uh, new Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 on sale now from $25. It's based on a Raspberry Pi 4, so it's got very, very similar specs to Raspberry Pi 4, same processor uh, and various different RAM configurations. But you can see that there's, there's no real connections on it. Uh, it's designed to work with another board. Uh, and so I guess it's all about form factors. It looks like it's more of a commercial thing. So I was thinking, first of all, maybe I should order one. But uh, I'm, if I was going to buy anything, it'd probably be more like a Pi Zero or something like that, that that actually has the connections. There you go. If I pause that. So this is what the compute module looks like. So you can see it's very, very small. Uh, when you compare it to the size of the USBs, uh, it's much smaller than a Raspberry Pi 4. It's got a much lower height to it and uh, it somehow must connect to this board. I'm guessing in something like this that it uh, it just clips onto. Uh, but you can see here that there's the GPIO pins. We've got HDMI. Uh, I think they said there's only USB 2, not USB 3. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it looks really interesting. There's all sorts of extras on here. So there's a lot more connections than you would get on a Raspberry Pi 4 and also there's this extra socket as well. So it looks like through the comments people are seeming to say that it's going to be more uh, you know, good for a laptop or good for building inside machinery and things like that. What other pictures do we see? Yeah, here we are. Look. So here's all the spec. Gigabyte Ethernet, two lane display port, four lane display port, PCI Gen 2 socket, USB, yeah, the USB 2 it says that five volt for extra power. 32 board variants. Uh, and you can get one, if you wanted to get one, you can get one from Farnell. Uh, they're showing at the moment. I don't know if anybody else is, but uh, obviously all sorts of places are gonna be selling these, I'm sure. Available now from $25, but that is just the base unit. So there's, I, I doubt there's an awful lot you can do with that, because uh, I don't know how you get power to it and things like that. But it's not, it's not my thing, but I figured that other people would be interested in that. So I figured it, it warranted a Pi News, uh, and uh, I, was, I was just sort of looking through the comments. People seem very excited about it. There's a lot of comments already on the official Raspberry Pi blog, so maybe you want to have a look at that and go through. Uh, but so I, d I don't think it's for me, uh, unless there's something I can think of that I really want to use for it. See this as well, there's an antenna kit. So... Uh, it has Wi-Fi on it, I think it said, but it, if people wanted better Wi-Fi, then they can use this antenna kit. And if we go to Farnell and have a look, you can see there's loads of variations of different RAM and all sorts of things. But yeah, interesting. And uh, it's, as it's based on the Pi 4 for the, uh, the CPU, then I guess a lot of the things that work for the Pi 4 would work for that as well. Um, so... Yeah, watch this space. Anyway, I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.